Right, so for Kramer's rule, we're going to create a bunch of determinants. The first determinant is just going to have all the coefficients of our original system. And then I'm going to create dx determinant, where I'm going to take the x column and replace it with the answer column. And then my dy, I'll take the y column and replace it with the answers. And for my dz, I'll replace it with the answers. So that 3, negative 4, negative 3 is just going to work its way across. And the rest of this original matrix will stay the same. So negative 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 1, 1, 1, 2, negative 1, 2, 1. So it's that original matrix with the x is replaced and the y is replaced and the z is replaced with that answer column. So now you just figure out all these determinants. So lots of basket weaving for us. So I'm going to rewrite those first two rows to the side. And I'm going to multiply on the forward diagonals and subtract the backward diagonals. Oh, joy. So 1 times 2 times 1 is 2. Negative 1 times 3 times 2 is negative 6. 2 times 1 times 1 is 2. Subtract the backwards. Negative 1 times 1 times 1 is negative 1. 1 times 3 times 1 is 3. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. So this ends up being 4 minus 6 is negative 2 minus 10 is negative 12. So my first D is negative 12. Do it again. Oh my. So negative 3, 4, negative 3, negative 1, 2, 1. Multiply on the forwards, subtract the backwards. So negative 3 times 2 times 1 is negative 6. Negative 1 times 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. 2 times 4 times 1 is 8. Subtract the backwards. Negative 1 times 4 times 1 is negative 4. Negative 3 times times 1 is negative 9. 2 times 2 times negative 3 is negative 12. So this is uh, 17 minus 6 is 11 minus negative 13 minus 12 is negative 25. 11 minus minus 25 is a positive 36. So dx is a positive 36. Now all of my answers, x, this first determinant that you get is going to be the denominator for everybody. So x is going to be dx over d. y will be whatever we get for dy over d. z will be whatever we get for dz over d. So everybody's going to be over this negative 12. So x is 36 over negative 12 is a negative 30. You got one. All we have to do is do these last two denom determinants to get y and z. So here we go again. So this is going to be 1 times 4 times 1 is 4. Negative 3 times 3 times 2 is negative 18. 2 times 1 times negative 3 is negative 6. Subtract. Negative 3 times 1 times 1 is negative 3. 1 times 3 times negative 3 is negative 9. 2 times 4 times 2 is 16. So here we're getting that's negative 14 minus 6 is negative 20 minus negative 12 plus 16 is positive 4. So this is negative 24. So dy is negative 24, which means that y is negative 24 over negative 12 is a positive 2. Remember that d is the denominator for everybody. So that's why I put the negative 24 over the 12 to get a 2. One last one. My gosh. 1, 1, 2. See, the, one of the nice things about Kramer's rule, while we might want to use this over other methods, is that if we were just going for x, you could find x right away without finding the other numbers. Kind of a pain in the butt to find them all. But here we go. So 1 times 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. Negative 1 times 4 times 2 is negative 8. Negative 
3 times 1 times 1 is negative 3. Subtract the backwards. Negative 1 times 1 times negative 3 is 3. 1 times 4 times 1 is 4. Negative 3 times 2 times 2 is negative 12. So I'm getting negative 14 minus 3 is negative 17 minus 12 minus 12, no, 7 minus 12 is a minus 5. So negative 17 minus a minus 5 is negative 12. So dz is negative 12, making z negative 12 over negative 12, which is 1. Finally, got them all, x, y, and z. So your final, final answer is going to be x is negative 3, y is 2, and z is 1. These should make all of these equations true. Check the first one. A little scared. Should be good. They all came out clean. Negative 3 minus 2 is negative 5 plus 2 is negative 3. Heck yeah. This should work for the rest as well. Fabulous.